What's up guys? Welcome to Ride the Coffee Bean. Today I am here at the world of coffee in Athens. There is so much to look at here. Um, I don't really know where to begin. But in this episode, I thought I would uh, take you around the shop, talk to a few of the espresso machine producers and learn a little bit about espresso machines and see what is on the market. There's a lot of both old classic ones and uh, some new interesting ones. So let's go in and uh, have a look. There's plenty of espresso machines here and so many people. It's not easy to find someone to talk to, but uh, let's see if we can find uh, someone to talk to about a few of the machines at least. Uh, so Sanremo is a 25 years old company based in Italy, in the northeast of Europe, Italy. And basically we are in a big cover of all range uh, of the production from the entry level to the the top level of machines, uh, so from the hour zone, how to press the ear till the opera, allow to make the, the pressure profiling, basically. Uh, we can start with, the, with the, our cafe racer. It's the most iconic machines uh, we, we have in our range, basically. Uh, it's a multi-body machine. Everything is made in stainless steel. Uh, now, currently, we are uh, the sponsorship for the Latte Art Corporation, so with, with the racer. Uh, do the high performances in terms of ability and for the steam power. And you can customize whatever you want the machines. It's fully customizable for the customer, for the color, for the materials, for the leader panels. We made this a, a version for uh, Athens events. And over there, we can see also the grinder. Uh, we compete also for the best product. Uh, this is the X1. Now, the X1 is a new uh, type of grinder. It's quite strange because it's a combination between a single dose grinder and uh, like on demand because we integrate the dosing system on top uh, with an FD grinding chamber. Basically, uh, on the next one, we weight your own dose in grams in beans. So the, 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 the coffee is weighted on top. If every time we grind fresh coffee because the, the grinding chamber is, is kept empty. So that's way the user have this every time fresh coffee, uh, every time we uh, keep the maximize the volatile compounds of the top, and we can choose between two hoppers independently. We can set uh, many doses. We can also adjust the space of the bells electronically from the range of espresso to filter. So we have uh, the FAT. It's the mid-range machine. So it's uh, SR61 group head. So it's Thermal management of the blue pad with a operating blue baller, the same of the racer, and the steam baller. Uh, very easy to use, uh, super high performance as well, uh, but it's a little bit lower level than, rather than uh, the cafe racer. And then we go over there. This is the, the U. Uh, we made this uh, one off edition for the Athens. This is the, uh, the commercial home, uh, the prosumer machines we, we offer in addition to the Q. And it's a multi boiler machine, so we have the service boiler, the brew boiler, the same of the racer. So in a home use machine, we have also often professional components, the same group of thermal management of the AKT. And we have the machine, so very compact. Uh, we have a touch screen uh, to program the, the pressure profiling, because with this machine, you can create your own pressure profiling, like the Opera, the top one. Uh, you can use, make uh, several recipes, or you can use the powder as well to create manually your profiling. And then later, you can also save the profile and uh, re recreate the same profile. Yeah, that's all, that's great. <laughs> uh, this machine also has to be a leader panels, magnet, magnetic panels, so you can create your own panels and customize the machine up to you, up to your, your mood, basically. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is the top level machines for uh, for San Remo. It's still a multi boy machine, uh, bought in um, 2013, the first version. This is the maximum uh, top level of thermal stability, 0.1 degrees of thermal stability. multi boy machine as well. We have a gear pump, uh, so we can create pressure profile as well using the application notation. Uh, this is the most iconic machine uh, of San Remo. That's the machine that creates, basically, the, the San Remo brand in, in 2013. The ASB, the entry level machines for a single boiler, uh, so with the heat exchanger basically, we take the same uh, shape of the FAT machine, but we simplify hydraulic secret uh, 
to different parts for the market. That's it's really cool. Easy. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> really beautiful machines. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, the Rancilio Silva, is probably one of the most popular home machines in the world. Rancilio is, is, is an old company? 100 years. 100 years old? Yes, yes. Founded in 1927, 1926, so it's almost 100 years. We're getting there. <laughs> so this is uh, the new brand, is Rancilio Specialty. This one is the Invicta. It's the, it's the it's like the twin of the RS1. Which is the high top range. This is a little bit lower. This is a single boiler coffee machine. You can also arrange the temperature on every on every group because we have a we have a like a technical things which the name is T switch. So even if you got a single boiler coffee machine, you can also switch the temperature on every single group. You can also set the pre-infusion and the post-infusion. In this one, you can also change the uh, temperature of the brewing while it's brewing. So, if you start brewing uh, from 90, you can uh, go up to 95 or maybe 93. So, profiling up, being stable, or profiling down. So, it's up to you. So, you just can uh, take out of your coffee the best notes you want your coffee to have. So this is a dual boiler coffee machine with independent groups. That one is a single boiler coffee machine. This one has a, this, the steam lever has the first function, one, first position and second position. So you can, from touch screen, you can set the amount of power you want to have. So, Maybe you want to start with 45% of steam and then go to 100. So, 45. You don't have this feature here. You got the steam knob here. So, full open or. Okay. Here, of course, we have Victoria Arduino, uh, one of the most famous uh, high end espresso machines in the market. Uh, Tommy was founded in 1905, so it's over 100 years old, 100, uh, well, 18 years old. And all espresso, as you can see here, you can make also a kind of filter coffee beverage, that we call Pure Brew. Mm -hmm. And as a zone way, I mean, we have our own way to control the temperature, the pressure. We're combining design with heritage and with technology. Uh, uh, this is tea. Make it work and start all over. We'll make also tea out of this machine. We'll make tea? Yes. This is made out of this machine. Stop it. This is a hot water? It's a different the filter. You put them uh, loosely on the loose leaves. And uh, make tea. Victoria Arduino um, used to be the sponsor of the World Barista Championship. And here we have um, Nuovo Simonelli which is also an Italian uh, company. Vicoria Arduino and Seminelli is now the same company. So, uh, they, they merged some years back. This is also an Italian uh, espresso maker, Electra, one of the oldest in, uh, in Italy. This one is a flagship, it's full boiler. Profiles for steaming milk. Um, an automatic steamer that you can set by hand. Main thing is the water that comes here. It's directly. Uh, it's not from the boiler inside. It's a, it's a separate uh, way. It has different profiles. You can set everything you want separately. You can work with this one, 93 degrees per for example. This one at 91. It's for the different coffees. Very special machine. For example, for a cappuccino, this is for a lot. But you can use one to make chocolate. And the other one for cappuccino. And here, of course, we have uh, one of my favorite machines, uh, La Marsotto, displaying all their models. This is the Linea Classic and the Linea PV. And we have the Linea Mini. And then we have the Linea Micra. And of course, we have the, the KD90, the uh, newest machine. I remember you. From uh, Marina Academia, how are you? You good? Man, you going? Yeah, really, 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 really good. Yeah? First time in out and you got good mood, good town. You yeah. want to spread the spread, so? Yeah, definitely. I haven't seen this as a one group before. Do you normally sell one group? 
uh, well, uh, it's not the best seller because uh, it's expensive and uh, it's not for a coffee shop. Uh, it's just for a very high quality with no rush. But uh, if we just focus on uh, the quality, it's the best. Nothing to say. Nice. What kind of coffee are you? We are and the coffee we've chosen that is roasted in Academia by Marco is a natural chimia. This one we waited for that for months. We we are very 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 happy about it. It's complicated to get natural chimia in general, and this one is stunning. Yeah, Bobby. Ah. And uh, thank you. Red, one or some. <laughs> nice, thank you. Oh, it is. It is. We felt in love uh, with the coffee and we felt in love with Fred Espresso too. Well, if you want to see more about Lama Soko, you can check out um, the video I made from the Lama Soko Academy. Olympia Express, we are a coffee machine manufacturer from Switzerland. No, uh, we are. Um, in the high-end sector of the coffee machine space, we build um, the Maximatic, a heat exchanging machine in a compact form factor, and the uh, Cremina, our uh, manual lever machine that's uh, pretty famous over the last 50 years that we built it. Yeah, we are um, not that um, big of a company. We only build 500 coffee machines a year. Um, that's um, due to our price, but also our price is due to the low quantities that we build the machines by hand and also everything in-house. So um, we do not only print Swiss made on the bo uh, box, but we are really Swiss made. So um, all the parts like the sheet metal parts and uh, the machine parts inside are from in-house and the brass parts are made in Switzerland from a manufacturer that we use. And this is for the home market? Yes, only for the home market. Uh, the company itself, well, more the brand, is uh, nearly 100 years old. was uh, founded in 1928. Um, mostly um, they started building um, commercial coffee machines, so big machines for cafes and everything, um, because the owner of the company was also a metal fabrication uh, company. Um, his wife had a cafe. And um, he was annoyed that the machine broke always down. And this was in the early beginnings of espresso in general. So um, he started um, building his own machines, of course, with parts from Italy. Um, they were also from the south parts of Switzerland that uh, uh, bordered Italy. And in the 50s and 60s, they started to produce uh, machines for the domestic market and went big this way. So the Cremina, um, this one uh, is designed in 1967. Uh, really cute machine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, um, okay. the current domestic market, we are uh, especially investing in uh, tools to make everything as compact as possible because you don't get more space in your kitchens. So that's also why we have the knockout drawer right underneath the machine. We have uh, created the cock prep tool, which is a leveler and a um, quarter filter funnel um, that fits right in top of each other. And together with the tapping pad that we built, it's all as small as it gets. There are so many machines here. But, uh, it's kind of overwhelming. But, like Chimbali uh, and Faema are uh, also two very famous brands from uh, Italy. They are a little bit cheaper than uh, Nuovo Simonelli, La Machocco and Vittoria Arduino, but also very high quality. Um, but you see them in, in more shops because of the price. So now, unfortunately, this trade show is uh, about to come to an end and uh, people are going home. But I had a lot of fun here seeing all of these new espresso machines and, uh, and learning a little bit about them. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten the chance to talk to or to see all of them. So uh, I have something to look forward to next year as well when uh, the trade show comes to Copenhagen. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, episode anyway. Um, maybe you learned something, maybe you gotten some inspiration um, about some new 
new coffee machines? If you did, give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and ring the bell if you want to see some of the other videos that I've made from this, uh, this great show. And uh, I will see you in the next episode. Peace.